Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is the full tutorial of basically how to draw silver.exe. It's really Silver the Hedgehog from the Sonic Universe. Um, pretty popular character I noticed, so I made an entire tor tutorial on the whole body, okay? This is gonna be step by step, completely for beginners, and here is the entire tutorial, all right? Uh, let's jump right in, all right? So let's get started here. We're gonna get started with the structure first, okay? And we're gonna go in here and go into a circle. I'm thinking in very simple shapes. Just to, I'm gonna draw it really obvious like that. All right, circle. I'm gonna draw a smaller, thinner circle right here below for kind of the body and torso. All right, I'm gonna pull down a long leg here. Pull down a long leg. And I'm gonna draw a line here, line here at the bottom of those tube-like legs. It's really just a tube, right, for the legs. Uh, down, and then kind of like a hump shape right here kind of draw up. Same thing right here, pulling a line down, out, down, out, curve. <sighs> line over here, line over here, curve down here for the wrist. But we're, we're, we're pulling these tube-like arms, so right here as well, like a tube, it's just straight up like a tube. And he has kind of uh, like all these characters in the Sonic Universe have pretty big hands. So you're gonna draw maybe like, just like think of them as uh, lines. Like right there, I'm thinking of kind of the line right there. Again, this is just the underlay, right? This is the underneath part. And I'm gonna put a another layer of paper over this after this. All regular paper, remember that. All of this is regular printer paper. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull a large spike down. For one, he's got, got pretty, like, these two large spikes on the side. Spike here, spike here. Gonna find kind of this V shape right here for kind of where his eyes are gonna go down. And then it's gonna pull up again. And I'm just gonna pull one line right here. See how I'm pulling like almost like their antenna? You've got like five that go up. Alright, and that's all I really need right now for the preliminary under sketch. This is the under sketch, okay? Just gonna keep that clear. Regular paper, okay? Look at this. Regular paper. Now I'm gonna put a regular printing paper. Everybody has this kind of paper, okay? And I'm gonna go over on the top of this, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over with a, just a pen. I'm gonna use a brush pen. You can use any pen you want, okay? Anything. I can use an, uh, the same pencil over again. Now, I can kinda see through it, right? And I have this thing called an un uh, underlay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over here and find where I think the nose is gonna be, kind of at the base of that V, and then it's gonna be like a curved line, it's gonna look like a cork, like a wine cork bottle. Right on. Circle over here. And I'm gonna fill that in with dark. You know. Again, I'm using a brush pen, you can use anything you want, okay? Furrowing of the eye right here, and the furrowing of the other eye. And this is going to pull up, out, up over here. And it's going to flare up that spike that he has. Before I do that, I'm going to go over here and draw the top part of the snout, kind of the mouth area, the muzzle area. And it's going to pull over here, pull back up. So you're drawing the bottom part of the eye and the top part of the mouth at the same time. 
curve around here for the bottom of the mouth. And curve around here, down over here. Okay. So the bottom part of that mouth right there. He's gonna have this angry look on his face. Cause this is gonna be the EXE version. And I'm gonna pull a line here. All right, I'm gonna go over here and draw a gravestone shape for the eye. Go over here, curve down on this side. And I'm gonna draw a another gravestone shape for the other eye, because this is the EXC silver. I'm gonna draw a curve line here. Curve right here. <clears throat> and let's go into the, the, the flare. Well, you know, before we do that, I'm gonna fill in the scalera here with, with dark. Except for maybe a line right there on the nose. I'm gonna fill in the scalera dark because that's the EXE version of uh, silver. Don't forget, hit that like button. Uh, if you do like these videos being put on this channel and you want to stick around, um, press that like to support the channel and uh, yeah, thanks so much. There. I'm gonna pull back here, pull up for the back spike and I'm gonna actually, it's gonna have like a kind of a the tip there but the tip's gonna be round down over here down over here up right on so we're gonna have the ear sticking out on this side so look at this ear on this side uh, and I'm gonna have the ear right here go up pop up down it's just another triangular shape but all of them are kind of round at the edges line over here line over here all right I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna follow that other spike I had down over here and this is gonna it flares up down up over here up down here over here on this side up down here right so you got that spike there and then lastly I'm gonna draw the ear on the far end right there where you're not gonna see the inside of that ear <coughs> This list is pretty hard. Uh, let me know if you do like it. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of other stuff if you want to want me to keep it going. So just let me know. Maybe give me some suggestions for other characters. Um, gonna go over here and draw the chest area. He's gonna have. It's gonna be like a hair on his chest right there, and it's gonna go down into a V. This chest right there. I'm gonna go over here and find the big spike I was talking about. So back here, starting from the top down pull up but we have that V that that spike already traced out there you know beforehand I could see through the paper just a bit to my underlay line over here line over here for the arm curve down line over here line over here line over here line over here so down with the legs and the legs again I'm just going down and tracing these tubes that you know, I have going on. Like so. Line down here. And I'm gonna find the the bracelet right there. Okay, it's gonna be like a square. Like so. And I'm gonna find his hand. So he's gonna kinda his hand out over here. So thumb first, palm. Line over here for one, two, three, four. Line over here, square, right there for the other wristband. Gonna go over here on this side, curve for the pinky. Line over here, line over here, line over here. 
And now we're gonna go over here and find the thumb on this side and then uh, you gotta bring that in with a palm right there. Over here we're gonna find the, uh, the square right here for the anklet and square right here for this anklet. It's kind of like a square uh, thing going on. Uh, and right here, I'm just gonna trace the same thing for the shoe, right? It was literally like straight lines down and a hump over here for the front of the shoe. Curve over here, curve over here. And then line up, line up, line up, line up. And let's go to the far end over here real quick to get the other, the, the huge spike in the back of him. All right, let's go over here for the tail as well. So you can see it kind of behind there. All right. And we're mostly done. There's a few symbols on the hand, but uh, we don't really need them that much. You can draw like a line here in that, in that wristband in line but that is it the only difference is that you know if I color him in he'll have red eyes um, which I guess I can do honestly let me let me put a little dot over here dot over here and I'm gonna go in with a marker real fast just real quick nothing nothing elaborate and uh, since this is the exe version I'm gonna you know give him red eyes He's mostly a light color, as well, like a light gray color. I guess we might as well do that too. You don't, you don't have to do this, by the way. I'm just grabbing any marker that I have. Um, I'm trying to grab a gray, a gray marker over here. So let's see. Okay, here we go. Just a gray over here, and I'm gonna underneath him over here. I'm gonna draw because he's pretty much like a very, very silvery white character. I'm just going to draw some lines toward the bottom here, in the back. Like so, just kind of just kind of along his limbs. You know, maybe a little bit of edges is here here as well. Nothing. Nothing. This none of this is fancy, none of this is strange. You could even kind of do it in a different way if you want. And then I'm going to go over and grab a kind of like a flesh color here or whatever, like a light color, like beige. And then go over here to his mouth. Ooh, I'm gonna take the uh, sketch from behind there because I'm starting to see it. All right, go over here, on his mouth. And then over here in the inside of that ear. And then uh, lastly, I'm gonna go over here to, his wristband is yellow, so I'm gonna actually color that that wristband in yellow. Uh, as far as markers, I'm uh, using Copic markers, and I was using another uh, regular marker over there. Not, but I'm not using anything super wild. You can do this in completely, completely normal markers. Absolutely, you can do this totally normal marker. It's uh, very, pretty straightforward, I think. I don't because he's such a, uh, a white-colored character. It's not there's nothing really fancy about him. So I, I guess I could even throw like another little gray over here on the eye area, and then maybe even over here below the uh, the uh, the hair on his chest, or even, even even his hands, you can kind of throw gray all over the place because there's there's so much white on the character, right? It's just kind of easy to color. Ooh, I forgot his shoes. Let me do really quick. I'm gonna put some blue on his shoes really fast. Nothing fancy, real fast. Boom here, maybe on the sides over here. I'm doing kind of a shorthand. I think he normally has two colors of blue there, but this is a good shorthand. Whew, and that's it. That is Silver the Hedgehog uh, EXE, that version. If you like him, like I said, hit subscribe and click the subscribe, um, sorry, click the bell notification. Also hit that like button. The biggest thing you can do to help the channel is to share the video. When you share the video, it is a huge, huge, massive help, especially because I'm trying to get this channel rolling again. I'm going to keep posting as long as you guys keep sharing. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time.